We have extended our study for 70 cases because of some time past. So SIGN is a non-profitable organization with the aim to improve surgical fracture treatments throughout the world. For that purpose, special SIGN nail was devised, uh, which has, it uh, instead of round holes, it has slots in its distal part, and combined with simple instrument set, it allows us to make distal locking more easier. SIGN program in Belarus has started three years ago. Since the time, we've performed more than 150 surgeries with the use of the nails on difficult, different locations. The introduction of nailing, especially of this system, has changed our approach to treatment tibia fractures, and uh, intramedullary nailing is replacing open reduction and tibia plate fixation, as you can see from this slide. Uh, this presentation is based on our material of 70 patients with tibia shaft fractures. Mean follow-up was 15 months, with minimum from 6 months. Uh, there were more males than females. Uh, open fractures were in 9 cases. Uh, concomitant injuries were seen in 15 patients, uh, 9 of them at the same leg, and in other locations, uh, 6 spine 3, other tibia 1, pelvis 1, and multiple fractures 1. According to AO, most fractures were simple, uh, oblique fractures, but uh, other types of fractures also encountered. Uh, we've used quite simple OP technique with the lower leg hanging from the bolster. This allows us the possibility to free access to entire lower leg, facilitated fracture reduction and rotational control, and an restricted possibility to image intensifier. In most of cases, uh, closed reductions were achieved, about but six cases, two of them were segmental, three late treatment, and one long oblique fracture. In most cases, manual reaming was performed. Partial uh, post-operative treatment consisted of partial weight bearing within first six weeks, and then increased to progressive to full weight bearing according to fracture type or signs of union. Here are some clinical examples of treating tibia fractures and fractures in multiple injuries injured patient. Results were assessed in terms of consolidation, time to full weight bearing, to radiological consolidation, union in correct position, cumulative functional results according to our original scoring system, and complications. Most of fractures have healed in terms from 3 to 12 months, except one. Mean time to full weight bearing comprised 4 months, to radiological consolidation 5.7 months. Uh, delayed union, which we defined to occur later than six months, occurred in um, eight from our 70 patients. The reasons for delayed union within this subgroup were deep infection in two cases, grade three open fractures two cases, mistakes in post-operative treatment, fractures of upper set of tibia, and segmental tibia fractures. Some patients have two or more reasons uh, for delay. Male alignment was occurred at six of our patients. Most of them were proximal tibia fractures with characteristic uh, valgus male alignment. Uh, results were assessed uh, according to our functional score. It is 100 points. Mean score at latest follow-up comprised 93 points. In the one poor result, it was 55 points uh, due to development of deep infection with subsequent tibia resection and Lizarov lengthening. For discussion purposes, we've uh, evolved so-called ideal fracture model. This is closed middle lower third tibia fracture, non-segmental, non-complicated. Most of our cases, 75% uh, were fractures like this. When compare open versus closed fractures, uh, you see certainly that uh, it is uh, open fractures need slightly more time to union, but without a statistically significant difference. For open grade three fractures, uh, this difference appears already. Segmental fractures also heal uh, slower than uh, simple fractures, uh, also statistically uh, confirmated. What was initially surprising for us is that upper set tibia fractures needed more time to union. Uh, you see here it's almost twice as much time as simple fractures. Also for these fractures is characteristic the higher need to polar screws or wires, higher need to dynamization, and higher rate of angular deviations. We've studied the use of image intensifier. Uh, 
and compare two groups of patients, one group 20 patients with side nails and other group 20 nailing with the usual round holes. We simply counted the number of image intensifier shots and uh, 7.6 shots is my uh, mean for side nailing, 16 for round hole nail. This is statistically significant difference. For conclusions, I would say that uh, the need in image intensifier and surgical team irradiation are significantly lower with this system. Sign nailing is a reliable method of treatment for majority of tibia shaft fractures, but in cases of upper set tibia fractures, some precautions should be used and further investigations needed. Thank you.